Hello everybody, this is the very first video here on Bumpy Gaming. It's going to be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, sorry if, if I'm not really doing this professionally. Oh, there goes Discord. Yeah, sorry I'm not really doing this professionally. It's because... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm just <laughs> This is unprofessional. Mm. Eh, I'm, I'm like this a lot. So, this is just going to be like a sort of testing grounds for... For like what my channel is gonna be, yeah. You know, so I'm just gonna play some versus races in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You know, see how well that goes. And so yeah, let's yeah let's do it. Uh, for, you know, for this particular video, I'm gonna be Waluigi, cause why not? Yes, the funny meme man himself. 200 CC, frantic items, hard calm, random. Kind of doing what Dashy does here. Only difference is, you know, I'm not going to be raging as hard. You know what I mean? Ooh, SNES Rainbow Road. This ought to be good. Well, you know, Rainbow Road is good, except when you fall off over and over. Go! Which is why I have smart steering on. Now, um, I'm just gonna say this about smart steering, like, oh, why did I use the bananas? Fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this about smart steering, um, it's both a blessing and a curse, in my honest opinion. Because, you know, sometimes it helps you, and other times it just really, like, it just, it just fucks you over. Like, there's one track that I absolutely despise smart steering on, in particular, and that would be, um, N64 Toad's Turnpike. Yeah, because, like, you got all the all the cars in the city coming after you. And I remember one instance in particular, like, it made me go backwards. Like, it just like, it just turned the whole damn car around. And, and then that's when I decided, yeah, this track sucks with smart steering. Yeah, thus, I turn it off when I'm uh, on that track. I mean, smart steering, in theory, it's a good concept. But I, it, it could have been executed, like, a lot better. Yeah, so hopefully if they make, like, a proper Mario Kart 9, they'll improve that. Man. Yeah, here's hoping. Ooh, first place. Next race. Yeah, so the gist of what I'm going to be doing on my channel is just whatever gaming related. Well, other stuff too, like my old YouTube poop I just uploaded. But, you know, other than that, you know, it's just going to be whatever games I can find. It would, you know, it'll mostly be like Nintendo stuff, like Mario, and then I know this is Sega, but Sonic the Hedgehog as well. But, you know, for the most part, it'll just be games. And I'll do, like, anything. Like, I'll do, like, like officially licensed games. I could do, like, frickin' fan games. Or, you know, I could even do, like, you know, a anything, really. Yeah, sorry, I really don't know what to say here. Yeah, and I'll be taking requests in the future for something. You know, maybe you want me to do a playthrough of, or, you know, maybe you just wanted me to do, like... So, say, like, in Smash Brothers, you want me to just do, like... Because what I plan to do with Smash Brothers is, like, online matches. But if you want me to do just assortment of versus matches, you know, maybe with, like, maybe you could specify, like, a certain, uh, a, a certain criteria you want me to, you you want me to do it. Like, if maybe you want me to fight all, le all, like, seven level nine CPUs or something, or seven level one CPUs. You know, it, i I can make it work. You know, I, it's like that one episode of Spongebob, like, we shall never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. Yeah, I like SpongeBob, and so does you know pretty much half of my generation. Which actually no, that's more like 98% of you know Zoomers. <laughs> yeah, the SpongeBob franchise hasn't been doing so hot lately. I mean, the show has been good in quality, but, like, what Paramount has been doing with that new Sponge on the Run movie, that is just atrocious. 
you know, releasing it in Canada, but not the rest of the world. Look, I understand, you know, that, you know, there's a pandemic going on, but still, you think you ought to do a better job releasing it. You know, and we're not supposed to get it till early next year here in the States. It's going to be on CBS All Access or and other streaming stuff. And look, you know, putting it on streaming, I don't necessarily have a problem with, but like, you know, at least like, do it at the same time you're releasing it in the Canadian theaters. And I pirated the film, too. Now, you know, normally I don't support film piracy, but considering what Paramount's been doing, I think they deserve it. Plus, I have a, if you're curious on my thoughts, I have a review of it on my Letterboxd in the description. Well, the review's not in the description, but my Letterboxd is. Anyways, yeah, GBA Mario Circuit. I actually have some thoughts about this track in particular. Like, my, my main thoughts of this track is, like, like, they really gave it an a real upgrade here. Like, to, to the point where you could barely even tell it was supposed to be Mario, Mario Circuit from Super Circuit. <laughs> Try saying that ten times fast. Mario Circuit from Super Mario... Nah. Never mind. Yeah, so... Yeah, so so they really made this track, like, look different. Like, if you showed me this, like, with no context, I would not assume this is GBA Mario Circuit. I'd probably assume this is, like, a brand new track. You know, cause, and, like, it's this section in particular that, like, really sells it for me. Hmm, ba bomb Remember when that was a special item? Ah. Oh, looks like I got rid of the red shell there. And I got rid of another. Which means there's probably a third red shell on the way. God damn it. But not, but if there is, I got a green shell here. Oh, and not just fan games I can do. I can do, like, mods of games as well. So, you know, you, maybe you want me to do Project M one day, or, like, custom tracks in Mario Kart, for that matter. And I, I'll, take, I'll take requests for them. Any crazy shit y'all got. Well, oh, final race of the day. Ooh, Animal Crossing. Oh, but it's not winter. Mm. Yeah, that's like my main gripe with the Animal Crossing track. Like the seasons don't really match up with uh, with with what time of the of the year you're playing. Like I I, I think even like Smash Brothers, like I think Smash Brothers actually did this right with their um, Animal Crossing stages. It's a good track, it's just that I really... Like, that's really my only gripe with what is otherwise a decent track. Oh, crap. Gotta get a better view of these drivers. Otherwise, shit like that... Oh, lightning. I hate when that happens. Yo, Red Shell's coming, you think you're defending yourself with bananas, and then the lightning comes, your bananas are gone. Well, hey, at least it's not as bad as in the original Mario Kart 8, when uh, you got nothing but coins in each item box. I remember one time, I went through a whole Grand Prix where I got nothing but coins in the item boxes. Like, literally, nothing but coins. You know, that still sticks out, even to this day. Also, I'm in speak on the topic of like Mario. I'm interested on what they're doing with the 35th anniversary, like that new 3D compilation thing. I like what they're doing with it. It's just, you know, the fact that it's going to be a limited release is what kind of killing it for me. Oh fuck! Ah! And I lost. <laughs> Ninja be like. But hey, at least I got in first, so it's not all bad. Yep, there's my gold trophy. And, uh, 
yeah, I think that's that, that. I think that's just about gonna do it for this first video here on Bumpy Gaming. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna cut contact now, and um, until next time.